now we have a question from Joanna. In the Mediterranean climate, swells and berms are best, right? They're good. They're good in the Mediterranean climate because uh, they extend the water of the winter through the whole summer. So you've got dampened hydrology when you don't have a lot of rain in summer. And they'll actually extend that over quite a few years. When does one decide to allow for a bit more exposure or evaporation in design? Exposure and evaporation. Well, it doesn't really matter when you're in a cold climate where you don't have a lot of evaporation, swells will still give you a better water flow to the roots of your trees. It'll give you a raised mound like this, which won't necessarily be wet because the water's going under it. So it will give you a raised mound that's better drained with a deeper water flow. And you can still have open space that is open to the sun. So it's not like the swales make it too damp. It's not like the swales stop evaporation. Um, and in cold climates, a lot of the trees are deciduous. In and clearly every opportunity to conserve must be taken. In humid climates, sometimes too much water is the issue. What is the best way to think about straddling the line? Well, I put swells into the wet tropics where we've had seven metres of rain. Um, I put swells into lowlands that have high water tables and they've turned into Chinampa canals. So it's not that swells make it too damp. You know, it's not like they make it too wet. They take the water, they stop the flow of water across the surface and they spread that water as an even passive flow holding nutrient and soaking it to the tree roots. The more trees you have on a swell, because swells are tree growing systems, the more that nutrient is held in the root net and the more the water is pacified. So they're definitely erosion control. They're definitely nutrient traps. They're definitely tree growing systems. And initially all you see is they're water holding systems that soak water, but there are a lot more than that. So it's not that there are climates where you say, oh, well, I don't need swells here and I do need swells there. In the deserts, you need the biggest swells because you want to trap every single drop and soak the whole lot in because you get 10 years worth of rain in four hours every year and then it's all gone. So you want to soak it all. In a humid climate, you don't need such big swells. You can have smaller swells. This is a humid climate. We get um, more than 60 inches of rain a year. Um, and this is a reasonable size swell for this climate, but I want it big enough that I can get a small tractor down. The implement on this farm with over 50 acres, 66 acres, is to be able to get the main machine down the swell. Because optimistically, I've got to harvest a lot of fruit. And I actually stood here feeling really good about the amount of mulberries I can see. Um, which was always nice. But to be able to come in here and maintain to be able to come in here and bring compost to be able to come in here and chop and drop um, using the machine to carry stuff and using the machine to carry crop out is an advantage to us but as you get into the more humid climates you don't need huge swells and as you get into the drier climates they, they need to get bigger so you're in the mediterranean region you're in the midway point um, you definitely got to get through that dry summer and the more water you can infiltrate during the winter, the more it will carry you through in the subterranean layers, the more chance you're going to get to charge spring lines downhill as well.